On my lighter days, I like to do an arm day mixed with a little cardio. Uh, we have the new Fit RX adjustable weights and trying them out in different workouts. So today we'll do some arm exercises and just see how they are. Uh, they've been great so far. The biggest issue I've had really is just getting used to the size. So we'll see how they do with just some basic curls, tricep extensions, and the impact uh, the extra width has to them. So I have them set at 22 and a half, try some different weights. Uh, and we're just going to try, slide off good, we're just going to try some of our basic curls with the extension. So just extending all the way and coming back in the curl just to see how they do. Being a little larger, I was kind of wondering if they were going to end up hitting the size of my hip. But not too bad. There is a slight rub. i got to pull them out just a little bit compared to a little smaller weight. Uh, they each have um, 22 and a half. Each got two, two different weights on, on the outsides. They, sit, they feel pretty steady, just kind of swinging them around and checking them out. And let's try just to go a little heavier, see how they do going on. Not too bad. A little large, but overall, you end up swinging them just a little bit more, maybe an inch or two out. Let's go 25. Just to see. Same thing. Looks like we just switched one of the weights. Not too bad. I do think because you have to swing them out a little bit, you miss a little bit of the straight curl. So I do think if you're really working on that definition, making sure that you have your hand here and doing kind of old school curls where your elbow doesn't stays in, stays tight. Because that swinging motion, you're coming back, I do like these because it engages the triceps as well, but having to swing them out, you move your hand out and your elbow comes up, makes them a little easier. So this obviously isolates your bicep just coming up and down. Overall, you're really good. Uh, let's go a little light. And let's try some, let's go 15 pounds in the first one. And let's try some tricep extensions. This is the one I'm most interested in. Just because of the width, I want to make sure I don't hit my head. And what is it like having the uh, free floating weights in there? Make sure they're locked in good if they don't hit my head. So, feels alright. I don't feel like I'm going to hit my head. Not too bad. They are a little large. I can feel them coming on the back side of my head. I've never been a fan of this exercise that much in the first place. I'd rather just do outside extensions. We'll try the other hand, see if I'm coordinated. Really kind of creep up on your head. So the size doesn't really have that much of an impact, the size and the length. As I said, I'm not necessarily that big of a fan of these in the first place. Feel pretty solid. They feel nice and stiff. Really no concerns about the weight falling off of there. Nice in there tight. I feel like I'm getting fast, swing them around. Not too worried about the weight falling off as well. Overall, pretty good. Next, we're going to try some basic forearm curls. Do a little in, do a little up. Uh, just because we're trying this, let's just go 15. Do like the single hand switch. And we'll see how they do. Even though you switch them in there, once they're locked and once you pull them um, and that white button is not pressed, these, there's no slide. So I feel uh, very confident that the weights aren't going to slide off of there. I haven't had any issues with that. And even with that motion where this is the exact same motion you use to switch them, the forearm that's in there, it's nice and locked. I really have no issues. 
really solid. I don't feel the weights slipping, sliding. Overall, really good brushes. The more I use these, the more I'm kind of uh, really satisfied with these. Let's try a little heavier weight. Oh, wrong way. Let's switch them back. Good thing to go each way. Let's just go 25. And let's just do some forearms up. Try to pull some different weights in here. Make sure that all the different weights are secure. Not bad. Let's try one more different set of weights here. Let's uh, let's go 30 and see what we have with the with the weight combination. We got the heaviest weight. And one of the middle weights, no issues. And let's try low weight so we can get one of the small weights here. Let's do seven and a half. Let's do 12 and a half. We've got the two smallest weights on the end. Let's see how secure they are. You can see you got the two smallest weights on the end, the lightest ones. The, uh, as the weights get closer to the thing, to the handle, they're heavier, and even the light ones feel really secure in there. The heavy ones felt like there was no movement, and any sort of swinging, no real, uh, no real concern about them coming off. And let's try, let's go a little heavier. Let's go 40, get a couple of the heavy ones, and run through it one last time. Forearms. And they're solid. Curls feel pretty good. Good product. And that's our test of the Fit RX with the uh, curls and tricep. Deck.